Welcome to Wizards of Webcraft, a website review series where you provide the websites and I provide the reviews. We have two great websites to look at today, so let's jump right into it. So the first website we're going to be looking at was sent in by Heather. She says, hi Tim, this is a website I have been creating for a friend. I'm not a web designer or developer. I disagree if you designed and built a website, you are both. She says she's just a hobbyist. She struggled with a few areas and she knows it needs more work and she would be grateful for some input on the actual design. She built it herself without a template. So let's take a look at what she's built. And this is the website. It's a website for therapies for tired, stressed and aching bodies. So in that sense, I think the color scheme fits well. And I can definitely see where you were going with the hero section, but it's just a little bit much. You have a cool background image, these leaves over here, and then you have another image, and then you have text on a background that has a lowered opacity. And all of it is combined with the header. We have the main menu over here and it's cutting into the image. So it's just a lot to take in right away. So the very first thing I would do is simplify this and just make it a left right layout without any offsets or overlays or anything like that. So I would keep this background image over here. So these leaves, the, this green, I think it looks good. I would just put the text over the background image and get rid of the purple opacity background altogether. And then I would make sure I would align this perfectly to the right side, kind of like this. This is a website I was working on recently. So this is what I'm thinking, you know, the, split it into the left and the right side, and then just keep the text over the background image. It, I think it's going to look good if it doesn't. And if it's not visible enough, just make the background image a little bit darker. And on the right, just keep this image. I think that's going to look much cleaner. And then the next thing I notice is the header is kind of in the hero section, which is actually fine. But in this case, again, because everything is so crowded, it, it's a little bit much. So what I would do is maybe move the header up entirely. So it's like this, just on a pur dark purple background all of the time. But let's talk about the header real quick. So the first thing I noticed is the logo. Now, I'm not sure how much Heather had to do with the logo. I'm not sure what you did exactly if you, you know, if you branded the whole thing as well. I actually like the logo. I just one thing I would definitely change is I would make it a little bit clearer, a little bit more simple, a little bit more minimalistic, right? It's a little bit crowded right now. So if I open the image, you can see it's built. It's like a tree that's built out of hands which I think is a great idea. But again, it's not really recognizable from afar. When I say afar, I mean, if it's small and it is small, because we're looking at it like this and over here, it's pretty tiny. And I think it's not really uh, clear what it is. So yeah, regarding the logo, definitely, I would make it a little bit more simple and maybe play with a different layout, maybe make the tree go on the left side and then the wishing tree wellness therapies on the right. I think that will look great as well. The issue with these circular logos on websites is it always looks huge. The logo can look amazing. I've worked with circular logos before and the issue always pops up where if you make it small enough to where it actually looks good on the website it's not really recognizable you're not really seeing the letters or the the actual shapes well so that's the biggest problem so if you can get this into a left right layout instead of just you know a circle i think it's going to work better for the website at least for the website one more thing that is great that you're doing is you're using svgs so scalable vector graphics instead of pngs or jpegs for your icons and logos that is great i always recommend that to everybody if you have a choice use an svg it's going to be clearer it's going to look better it's going to be a smaller file usually and not only that the biggest benefit is they actually scale up or down perfectly because they are a vector file so if you have the option always use svgs they just look so much better then the next thing i notice in the header is if i hover over with my mouse the color changes but it's not clickable and for the telephone number and for the email i think this could very easily be made clickable and the same thing for the opening hours which should not be clickable probably but still the, the hover indicates that it is clickable now when it comes to the social media icons i see this a lot a lot of websites place them directly in the header. And I think for most of us, that's actually a big mistake because simply put, the header is gonna be visible on every page. It's the element people are gonna see the most, especially if you make it sticky. If it's sticky, it means, you know, it's always present when you scroll 
it's always present just like over here but the point is this is prime real estate this is where you want to put in your most important call to action or some short information and it's important and most of us should use our social media channels to drive traffic to our website why exactly would you want people to go from your website to instagram or facebook it doesn't make much sense because once they're there not only do you not control what they see at all they can get a notification from their friend and they're gonna forget all about your website and attention spans are short these days and attention is hard to come by and not only that you don't get to track how they behave as much what they do how long they stay there you lose all of that you lose all of the control so i would recommend against this and i would put it just in the footer so if anybody's actually looking for it they're going to be expecting it to be at the bottom of the page in the footer try to think about what how your users behave and what they do and what you want them to do and then you know just figure out if putting social media icons on such a prominent place is you know in in line with those goals and then if i scroll down let's just take a look this is an, an animation i think it looks great two things over here that i would definitely fix the first is spacing as you can see the spacing over here on the top is just much smaller than on the bottom I would just make it even it's gonna look much cleaner and then the second thing is I think welcome to wishing tree wellness therapies should be in its own line and a place where healing begins should be in its own line as well I think that makes more sense otherwise you know I'm liking the font I think it works well for the industry I, I like the colors I like this gentle beige it, it just looks great and then if I scroll even more down again we have this spacing issue um, I, in this case I think the spacing is a little bit too much actually I like more space uh, I'm always gonna advocate for giving things their own space white space opening up a website so everything breathes and looks better and more professional but in this case I think it's kind of unnecessary half of the website over here is just empty space you do not need that much otherwise I like this I like the treatments I like how it changes these tabs one thing I would change that I think would make everything look a little bit more classy is I would make the image bigger by the way when it comes to the header I noticed it's not actually sticky uh, one thing I definitely advocate for most of the time are sticky headers just because they make navigation that much easier for the user in Heather's case over here it's not that much of an issue because it's a one-page website there's not a whole lot of content not a whole lot of scrolling you have to do but in general I just as a user prefer to have the menu available at all times I don't want to have to scroll through everything twice if I'm trying to get to another page so that's one thing I usually recommend unless you have a reason not to is make your headers sticky make them always be available moving on to prices here we have the opposite issue I think this space could be a little bit bigger open it up just a little bit more right huge space huge space tiny space make it even once you make all of those spacings even I think you're gonna find your website automatically looks much more uniform much more intentional so to speak so the next thing I like this pricing table it does what it needs to one thing I do not really think fits the website is this when I hover over it we get this shadow in the background now this can look amazing it can look very modern but I think in your case you would be better off without it now I actually have three reasons why I would advise you get rid of this the first reason is this isn't actually clickable well it is but it just takes you to the top of the page so I'm just assuming it's a link you forgot to remove the second reason is the actual shadow I think is way too harsh these shadows most often work so well because they are really really light really light and subtle but just obvious enough to make something stand out that's how you use shadows and in this case I think the first thing I would do is definitely make it uh, lower the opacity a little bit and make it spread out a little bit more make it lighter make it spread and the second thing is I don't think it really works well with the colors you have a deep purple and some green and some beige and these colors work well definitely for for uh, wellness therapies and treatments but they don't really work with shadows at least in my opinion next up we have our wellness gift vouchers and then again I would give a link to the number so people can just click on the number and it you know opens up the the call automatically and then again for these prices we have this shadow again 
I would remove that. So then we have this shadow again, which I would get rid of. And then we have a subscribe form. And then on our subscribe form, the only thing I would change is make the uh, fields a little bit bigger, maybe just a little bit bigger, because I think they're a little bit cramped right now. And then make the send button a little bit more obvious, maybe make it this purple color, because right now it kind of just blends into the background. Then with the footer, I, I really like the layout. The first thing I would change is I would give it a little bit more space at the top, make the spacings even maybe because right now it's a little bit cramped the second thing is i would give a little bit more space over here just open that up a little bit give it a little bit more of a line height and i would make the social media icons a little bit bigger they're really tiny right now and really hard to see so when it comes to the responsiveness i think the tablet mode could use a little bit of love the footer especially just kind of breaks on tablet it just looks like this and over here this there's just no space the prices bleed into the treatments and i could i think you could use a little bit more adding on the left and on the right just to you know make everything breathe a little bit more so it isn't so close to bleeding into the edges so yeah same thing here just a little bit more padding i think would work great open up those spacings and fix these issues and i think you are good to go on tablet and then on mobile the padding works well could be a little bit bigger but otherwise pretty fine one thing i would change in the header is definitely make the logo and the uh, hamburger icon center aligned because right now the logo is way closer to the top of the header than it is the bottom and this is just a good example of how a round logo can make a header look huge because it is a little bit big in my opinion but that's entirely because of the logo otherwise everything that i said on desktop pretty much applies here the spacings are a little bit big here a little bit small here but otherwise it looks good on mobile i really like the footer again these icons are a little bit small but i really like the layout it's very clever so all in all a lot of potential here just make the hero a little bit simpler fix the spacings and maybe get rid of the shadows and you're gonna have a website that does exactly what it needs to and looks good while doing it all in all i think you're on a great path both as a designer and a developer so just keep at it and thank you again for sending it in. Before we get into our second website, a quick word from our sponsor, me. If you wanna apply, if you wanna be in the next episode and you want your website reviewed, there's a link in the description. And while you're down there, make sure you hit that thumbs up button as well. So Diego is starting a web agency. So he created the brand Bigger. Bigger is a web agency that develops websites using WordPress and Elementor. The first thing I have to say is that this is a great website. So I think you're definitely in the right business starting a web agency. It's in Spanish, so I can't really comment on the content. I, I used Google Translate, but we all know how that goes most of the time. I really like your color choices in general. I really like these neon-ish greens and yellows it looks they look great on websites especially if the website has a nice sans serif modern font and feel and one thing i like about the colors is you're not actually using pure black you're using a lighter shade of black which works great it's a little bit easier on the eyes it looks really classy so you know great job on the colors uh, when it comes to the logo I actually really like the logo as well. One thing I would say is you're using a PNG, maybe use a, an SVG, it's gonna be a little bit clearer, it's gonna look a little bit better, it's gonna be a little bit smaller, it's gonna scale better. But otherwise, great logo, it works well. I'm a little bit biased here because I really like logos that are in this style, you know, typographic and with, with a little bit of an angle and a background. It looks great. Uh, it's really simple, but it looks amazing. So great job on the logo, great job on the colors. So one thing I would definitely do is make the contact an actual button, make it look like a button because you have a lot of space in the header. You only have three links. It's a one page website, so you're not using a lot of space. And I think it would be a much stronger call to action if it was an actual button i like the image i like how everything rotates i like how you incorporated that into the whole website at that point it's a brand element one thing i would you know fix regarding the image is there's no need for this white space over here i would just get rid of that and make the image bigger and then we get to our next section and it looks good but what i would definitely do is make everything a little bit bigger but intended make everything bigger and definitely make the line height so the space between you know, different lines of text bigger because it's really cramped right now. Let me just show you what it would look like if you just made it a little bit bigger. So I'm just gonna go ahead and inspect this and just make it bigger over here. Just make the line height instead of 0 
8 EM, I'm just gonna make it 1.3 EM, 2 EM, and I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna give it a little bit more of a line height, 1.3 EM, and I'm just gonna make the font size a little bit bigger. I'm gonna make it 18 pixels instead of 16. And with the heading, I'm just gonna keep it as is. So right away when I do that, you can see the difference. You can see the difference between this and this. So actually I'm gonna make the text line height 1.5 EM instead of 1.3. You don't have to do this, obviously, it's your website, it's your choice, but in my opinion, this looks much cleaner and much better, and it works much better because it's much easier to read. You know, if your lines of text are too close to each other, that can get very annoying when you're trying to read it. So open it up a little bit and maybe make the actual text a little bit bigger. Otherwise, you know, looks great. So let's move on. Over here, same thing, you know, just open up the text a little bit more give this more space on the bottom and just make this line height bigger. And perhaps you could get away with making the image bigger and that's gonna work great. So when it comes to the plans, the pricing, one thing I would maybe try is make the headings a little bit bigger, make the subheadings a little bit bigger. And again, the line height. Otherwise, I have to say overall, you did a great job making everything not be boring. That's that's very difficult to do in web design, actually. It's not repetitive, even though it's perfectly on brand. And it's not just the colors, it's not just the fonts. You know, these tilted images are a brand element. You know, that's a part of branding and these little dots over here, the colored dots and the underlying dots, you know, all of that is branding and all of that makes everything look just more, more put together. And you did a good job at that. One thing I will say is I went ahead and I Googled this a little bit. And if my calculations and my research, uh, quote unquote research, uh, really quick Google search is correct, this is about $360 and seeing your website, I can safely say, and I think everybody watching this is gonna agree with me, that your work, the, the quality of your work is worth way more than 360 bucks, especially for a, an online store. You are worth way more than $360 per website. So charge accordingly. So next up, you have your portfolio over here, which looks good, you know, again, with the tilted images on brand, on point. One thing that I think could be a little bit better is when I click this, um, it takes me to that actual page and it takes quite a while to load. So I'm not sure why that loading is, is takes so long, but one thing I would change is I would make this open in a new tab. So your website is still over here and then this just opens in a new tab. I think that's a little bit less disruptive. Plus, you know, you're more likely to get people to go back to your website. At least that is my logic here. You are of course free to disagree with that in the comments, but definitely, you know, I like to open things in a new tab unless they are really important. So with, with the frequently asked questions, the one thing I would change again is the line height. It's really small. So just open that up a little bit. The call to action looks good. And I really like how you created the footer. I really like how the header and the footer are the same color and you know visibly darker than everything else so it really creates that boundary so like here's the start here's the end that looks great you know it just works really well and on mobile the one thing bothering me is the header is a little bit large because of the logo but otherwise you know you did a great job making this responsive over here at the plans i think the padding could be a little bit smaller because it's a little bit cramped right now so make the padding of the the boxes a little bit smaller but otherwise you know great job making it responsive everything looks and works as it's supposed to even on the tablet mode everything functions everything is where it should be. So the whole website is a great balance of being visually interesting and being on brand and getting the message across. Nothing's boring, nothing stands out in a negative way, nothing looks like it shouldn't be there. So really, you know, amazing job with this website. So Diego, thank you very much for sending in your website. Again, if you want your website to be reviewed in the next episode, link is in the description. And let me know in the comments below what you think about these websites and what you think about my input on these websites. I think both of them are great and thank you again to both of you for sending them in. I think you're gonna find this video very interesting as well so go ahead and check it out. Also don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Thank you for watching.